So this is what happens when you spend too much time in the airport, you start documenting yourself on video. Um, anyway, I've been here since 4pm. Today's Saturday, um, 19th of May. I'm right now in the departure hall of Terminal 1, going down to the arrival hall. Anyway, I've been picking up uh, University of Buffalo students who are on that uh, study abroad program and uh, these are American and Japanese students basically here to study for six weeks sort of like an exposure to um, you know the business world in Asia and uh, get some education from over here so I've been walking around to the different uh, parts of the airport from Terminal 2 to Terminal 1, taken a sky train, went to that obscure canteen that um, some people know about. You just go down to the basement, it's like a huge food court. And uh, where else have I been? Oh yeah, I went to the viewing gallery. It used to be very popular and uh, what happened is now it's just just a plain old viewing gallery. Um, previously there was Swenson's over there, but they took it all away, probably because of security concerns. But right now it's all just right now it's all just uh, for viewing. And what's funny is that when I was there, I saw like three different homeless people there. Uh, you know, one was on the benches, another one was uh, sort of like... Uh, one even had a tent uh, in the corridor. So, it was kind of bizarre. So what I do basically is uh, pick up these students and then I have them first of all go to the currency exchange. So we have currency exchange uh, so like outlets on usually on either side of the terminal, both one and two. And then second the second checkpoint is I bring them to the Singapore Visitor Center, which is kinda of like a little booth with all the maps and all that stuff. Okay, so get, give them all the maps that you need. And then the third thing I do is to bring them to the uh, transportation area where you know you get to pick either a cab, a limo or uh, what they call maxi cab, which is what we did. So typically, let's say we get five people, it would be very ideal. $35 per trip to a hotel and then they split the cost. So since they borne the cost themselves, uh, this is a more economical way of traveling. And uh, for those people who have phone cards, I mean, uh, who have unlocked GSM phones, basically what they can do is they... Uh, uh, it's getting crowded they can buy that Starhub card for 18 bucks or more and start using their cell phone anywhere. So yeah, uh, but so far the only person who managed to do that is a girl from Hong Kong. So I know Japanese phone systems work very much like uh, on CDMA and all that so they don't really use GS GSM cards and all that. So yeah. Yeah, so what else? Uh, I think that's about it. I tried to use the internet and cafe. This is the sicky thing about all this internet business. I cannot get internet access everywhere I go. So even a hotel uh, in this airport, I can't get internet access where there is a, what you call that, where there is a cafe. Upstairs just now there's a cafe but all three terminals are being used by kids or other people and they're playing games. It's a pretty interesting game though. Uh, what I did was I asked them um, what they were playing and all they needed was a web browser and it was this thing called Dragon Quest or some quest, Adventure Quest I think and it was a flash based game that kind of reminded me of Final Fantasy but what they did was they, uh, they just log on with the character and then they can just play and then they get items, 
you know, and all that stuff. Behind me is the sky train, by the way. Yeah, that goes to Terminal 2. So yeah, there are plenty of shops here. You, you cannot starve in this airport, that's one thing. I mean, right now it's already, what? 11.50. I've been here for, since 4 o'clock, so that makes it like, uh, 6. 11 o'clock, 5, 7, yeah, 7 hours. I have to be here till about 1.30 thereabouts, hopefully not any longer. Hopefully no more delays. Um, yeah, so plenty of food, plenty of drinks. After you spend a few hours, not much to see. Um, not much you can do on the outside until, unless you get checked in. Then there's plenty of stuff to do inside as well. There's even a sake sushi inside. So I spent a bit of time walking around the bookstore, reading a bit, you know. It's nice uh, when you can just browse through the stuff. So yeah, uh, exploring the airport, what's been changed, what's new, what's old. Still love those escalators down there, pretty cool. The long escalators, pretty fun. Yeah, okay. That's all for now. Bye.